So today we are fixing uh, a set of Tonic uh, Dial-In Flow Form Rim as well, 17 inches for a Mazda 2. So a Mazda 2 original PCD is uh, actually 4x400 uh, and then the original stock rim are... Uh, sorry about that. Uh, the original stock rims are... The original stock rims are 16 inches. So, so what we're going to do, we're going to fix uh, 17 inches rims uh, onto the car. So before we fix, uh, we just want to have a quick look on the position of the rim. So it means that uh, you see whether the, whether the, where's the position of the rim right now compared to the Mazda. So what, what we're going to achieve right now, we're going to put in a 17 inches. We're hopefully that we will be aligning the body, make it slightly out. So like I said, like, like you know from our, my previous video, we like the rim slightly aligned, I mean aligned with the body. So it will look much more muscular. The original tires are 185, 60, 16. So today we are fixing a 215, 45, 17 uh, come hole tires onto the car as well. So uh, check it out. So before, before we proceed, so I just want to have a... Uh, uh, just explain to you guys uh, what we are looking for when we are changing, we are upgrading rim from 16 inches to 17 inches. But first of all, the choosing of tires. So what we're going to do is that we want we want to make sure that the original the, the tires that you are choosing right now are uh, almost same diameter compared to the stock rim. So in, in that's the way that we won't able to, we won't uh, be messing up with the, the spinning ratio, the odometer, everything. So we try to make sure that the, even though when we are changing the 17 inches rim. We want to make sure that the diameter and the 17 inches and the top rim tires are the same. So based on what we choose right now, the original tire is 18566. Uh, we are changing to a 215475. So, when you look at it, yeah, the pretty much just the same of the tire. So when we do this kind of when we do when we do this kind of combination, the tires uh, the, the tires are the same and then the diameter the won't affect so much. So, Ah, uh, so now we are testing out the the Mazda 2 after fixing up a set of 17 inches ribs. So uh, there's a few pros and cons. Uh, compare when you change from a 16 inches to a 17 inches. The first of all, of course, will be the comfortability of the ride. Especially for Mazda 2, the original size will be for the 16 inches is 185, 60, 16. So currently we are fixing a set of tires which is 215, 45, 17. So the, uh, let's talk about the, the cons. The cons will be that the comfortability of the ride. So of course that the from uh, a 60 series tires to a 45 series tires, you, are, you 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 lose quite a bit of the cushion. So it means that every time you we go to uh, maybe a rough road or everything, so you will feel that the the car a bit bouncy. So uh, in terms of that, the comfortability will be a bit uh, not on the good side. So another cons will be that of course the tires uh, will be um, 70 inches are usually more expensive compared to a 16 inches so uh, in terms of maintenance wise will be that uh that, 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 that's a wow. Another uh, issue about when you're using a thin tires is that uh, the, the, the thin tires is that uh, when you go to pothole, the, because of the, the, the thin cushion, the rims tends to dent easily. So something to think about when you are you are thinking about upgrading the rims. So on the uh, the pro side, the pro side of course from a 185, 60, 16 tires to a 215, 45, 17 tires, you actually you are increasing the width of the tires means that from 185 contact surface to a 215 uh, mm contact surface uh, means that your car are a lot easier to control so that you will feel that it suddenly uh, especially when you're driving the car for quite some time uh, suddenly when you change the wider tires you feel that the car is much more easy to control the car listen to you more so when you do a bit of cornering the time I feel it much more enjoyable and uh, much more enjoyable to to drive the car so this is this is usually the the the, uh, the pro side of course another pro side will be that the another pro side will be that the uh, of course when you look at it 
the from a 16 inches to a 17 inches it look a lot nicer much more sportier especially Mazda 2 um, the 16 inches when you look at it the 16 inches rims are so small the tires so thick of course it doesn't stand out so you, in order for you to uh, make the car look a lot nicer so the rims changing the rims will be the, the fastest way and easiest way so check it out uh, how it looks on the car Okay, so after fixing, the first thing you actually will notice is that the uh, of course we look much more aggressive. But I want to guys to have a look at the position of the rim. So currently compared to the previous one, it's actually the rim slightly more up a bit. You can see. It's actually quite aligned with the body. So when we change rim we, we want we want uh, probably we want this kind of thing. We don't want it to exit, but we also don't want it to be too inside. We want it just nice because when it's just nice, um, the whole car looks a lot much more uh, muscular, much more balanced. So, uh, currently, the, today, so we fixed a set of uh, Conic Dow in. It's a flow form rim as well. The spec, I think, is 17 times 7 offset 40. So, it's super lightweight. It's actually around 6.4 kilo, if I'm not mistaken. So, compared to the original, later we take a video about uh, what kind of original weight compared to the stock rims. I, I, I think you guys will be surprised. So uh, I think we quite we, we did quite a good job right here. So uh, yeah, stay tuned to us. Uh, if you've got any questions or any inquiries, please leave comment below. Uh, give us give us a thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. So tell us what you like what what you guys like to see, and then if you guys got any questions, we do our best to answer you guys. So uh, subscribe to us. See you next time.